swap over. You hush. Beautiful. Meow. Let's see how many we get. Meow. Oh, we got one. Cat's meow is so good. As you would expect. Oh yeah, we're somewhere in here. Fogord float sitting on a bench. That's right. That's us. Okay. We've got my dick. My dick today. That's exactly right, chat. Uh, we've got a nice upskirt for you, chat. Uh, but we've also got some, I think, more coils to do. I think we're just going to be doing some coils today, if I'm not mistaken, because we want to try and get through all of the coils. Um, before we are in a position to kind of have to start heaven sword, but honestly, I don't know. Uh, we can delay it as long as we need to to get through all of the all of the raid content that we want to do. So there is Yiz, my goob. All right, Mister Weon, uh, what are we doing tonight? Okay, given the number of people currently online and the fact that some of them are busy with other things, um, we're probably going to have to put coils aside and go do perhaps Crystal Tower stuff or some side dungeons. Oh, okay. I mean, we can, you know, step out if need be. We still wouldn't have eight. Oh, shit. Yeah, it may be a minute before we get everyone in. It's still pretty early. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Fucking duck. I love the duck. Okay. So then if we're going to do dungeon stuff, then what's on the list? That depends what's in your quest log, which I have no idea what you've got. Okay. I don't either. I've got a lot of shit in here. I have no idea what any of it is. Is that it? Oh, that's a cat. A very large cat. Excellent. The fat cat is fantastic. What a mascot. Anything that's down under Morgona in that list outside of sanding it down. And I believe the ultimate ballad, you can pick one and just go with it. Curds and slay. All right, let's do it. I can't travel while sitting. That's so dumb. All right, there we go. All right, what have we got here? Suki Tanuki. Silver, it's your cat. Get back here, you bitch. down this way. Is it going to be on the beach or is it over here? Oh, it's you. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, am I reading any of this? Uh, this one, you don't have to. Okay, we've done it. Uh, now we're doing, let's see... Really should just go through the whole list. Uh, map. Let me pin this one. Out of sight, out of mine. We might as well do that one too because we're just ready to turn it in. Okay. So you. Who this? Ah. Oh, hello, Dodos. Okay. So we're off over here to go to the fucking wing stop. This is like the fucking shining right there. There we go. Yeah, the petty emotes were fun to make. They're very quick to make too, coincidentally. There we go. Oh. Hello? Let's go turn this in. There we go. Oh, is this the cheese dungeon again? I'm 
I'm sorry, what, the Illuminati? Okay. Ah, hard cheese is now available. The Goblin Illuminati is trying to take the cheese recipe and we must stop it. Fantastic. Okay, assemble the sluts. It's time for a very hard cheese. This cat. Well, that might be a little hard. Two of the sluts are on Hyperion. Oh. Oh, it looks like we've got enough. He is tank cat heal. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Cat DPS. Bueno. Look at all the fucking cats. Cat, you want to heal? I can DPS. No, I'm okay. I will fisty. Punchy cat. All right, good deal. I am prepared. It's weird doing four people stuff now. I know, right? I've gotten used to having eight boys. Miko doesn't have his posse. Pico cat. Holy shit. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I like how different each of the dungeons have been. The hard mode feels like an entirely new dungeon. Got some Peloton going on over here. Cat can't run and punch. It's uh, quite sad. I shouldn't have spent all those charges because now I don't have my super strong AoE. That's okay. There we go. Get in there, bitch. Can't hit AoE if you're not in the middle of them. There we go. I'm down. It takes so long to get that attack actually at you. Like, you hit the button. It's a whole second and a half, it feels like, before it actually goes. Oh, yeah, Peloton. <laughs> oh, I'm just running. I know better now. These guys will keep up with us or they will die. Actually, they'll do both. There we go. Cat just kept going. There we go. Fucking Illuminati soldier. I can't believe that. Actually, Illuminati. There we go. Hallelujah, the Pelotons are being remembered. There we go. There we go. Rian going to squish that gate. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we've done it. Oh, we're just fucking killing him. Alright, good deal. Oh, he's gonna die very quickly. Don't fucking do it. There we go. Got him. Hey, stop that. 
I'm telling you, I, it's, it's like offensive to get attacked in this game. Like, I'm not the tank. Fuck off. No, see this shit. <laughs> A little fucking bitch. There we go. He lasted as long as the dots did. That's nice. Perfect. <laughs> fucking goblins. It's good that we have uh, the Emil Dungeon Part 2. I'm not using all my AoE on these guys yet. I don't have any AoE. What am I talking about? Don't attack me, slut. Holy shit. He is the super bottom. What the hell? There we go. Oh, man. Hello, please. Am I stunned? What is happening here? It's not using any of my skills. I must have been disabled somehow. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> the gliders like to jump into your face and give you a little stun. Oh, I see. Instantly enraged. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Tiny hole for tiny baby men. Oh. Hello. Okay, you know how there's usually fire on the ground? Yeah, there's pretty much... To always... not stand in? This time it's blue, so don't stand in. I would stand in it if it was blue. I like how we talk like there's just always fire on the ground all the time. It kind of is. There is. Like, do you not look at the ground? The ground I try is not lava. To. I was just about to say that. Hello? A single person confirmed. Oh, jeez. What the fuck is go Oh, I see. I heard something growling as, like, ads are spawning? What is this? Nope, no ads. There we go. You fucking stop that. This motherfucker. He keeps throwing it at me. <laughs> Fucking stop. <laughs> Literally just throwing it at me. There we go. Oh, so close. It's that fake is. Thank you, man. 217. 12 months. Look at that. For a year. Here we go. It's still in sub only mode? What? Is it really? That's, uh, it shouldn't happen. It should automatically get taken off at the beginning of the stream. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, if you ping somebody in Discord, for real though, if it is, it, if it does get set, because it's set up on the stream deck to undo that. Let me fix that real quick. Hold on. Um, let's see. Subscribers off. Okay, good. Thank you, Fagus. Okay. I am good to go. Subscriber only mode is not the only thing you should be taking off of the start of stream. Uh, implying I ever have anything else on? I have a shirt and a hat, sir. There we go. To <laughs> take it off, fucking Margo. Can confirm he never wears pants. Here we go. I can't see shit, Captain. Virgo, this is the right idea. Take it off. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yo, thirsty bitches. No, 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 kill me. Here we go. There we go. I'm getting used to doing this AOE management thing. Yeah. It's going to be so hard to learn another class. I'm finally getting comfortable with this one. There we go. It's a nice track in this dungeon, too. 
Ninja? Fuck that. I'm never touching Ninja again. Never again. It's just too fucking much. Oh, we're gonna kill that thing. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oops. Uh, I guess we're gonna YOLO. <laughs> Every bone in my body said kill it. <laughs> We've done this before. I keep forgetting I'm not on white mage, so I keep going to hit the wrong button. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, I did the same dot twice, god damn it dude. I never do it in the right order. Hey, fuck you buddy. You keep trying to show the goblins the size of your ass. Hi, <laughs> this fucking boss is just wasting time. No, I just keep trying to glare at them evilly. I don't know why I'm doing the power attack. It's a fucking waste. I got 10 million of them, but still. Holy shit, I hate this guy. I actually hate this boss. He's fucking annoying. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, you just waste so much time. Like, you put your dots on him, he just spends half the fight just going around in a fucking circle there. There we go. I don't do enough damage to these guys. Holy shit. Half the fight is just this fucker walking in circles. You stop that. Alright, it's good to be a fucking bard, man. There we go. Yeah, it looks like a bionicle head. You're right, Murgo. There we go. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, oh, we're killing this one. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> this guy's a dick. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I hate this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's called hit and run. That's funny. <laughs> the boss is a fucking troll, dude. There we go. How you doing, Panda? Little bitch. How good the dungeons? We've just done hard, very hard cheese. Uh, it's fun. Very short, but fun. There we go. Holy shit, nice. Giddy giddy. There we go. We've done it. You're chilling at the lake? Nice, dude. There we go. We've done it. Uh, okay. 
So now unlock the next one and go. Yeah. Okay. It's time to send Yiz back to the mines. But he lives in the slot mines. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yes? We should also get him um, uh, Wanderer's Palace. Just because it's cute. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we can get him into that one after this, and we can do... Um... Tara hard because those are the two actual reading ones. Okay. Temtara is reading? Why? You'll see when we get there. I don't trust it. Okay, into the slut mines. Let's go. I don't know that we're going to um I don't know that we're gonna get eight tonight. It seems we got a lot of people that are out doing other stuff tonight, so. We may just be stuck with the four, which is fine. We've got other, we got stuff we could do with four. I'm just worried about having to push back. I can for coils now. That's okay. Oh, look at him. I want them all. Put them all in your pocket. Yes. They're such good boy. <laughs> Sprig boys are fantastic. Not these things. Fucking rock crabs. There we go. Right, there we go. Nice. This is a nice, th nice theme, too. I really shouldn't be hitting that, because I know that we need to do AoE here. There we go. There we go. Nice. Perfect. All right, nice. No, no, don't pet. No, fucking sit down. <laughs> We've done it. We figured out how to sit on the elevator. Which is the Copper Bell Classic. Alright, off we go. There we go. I'm not hitting, not hitting three yet until we've got the whole pack together. Then we squish. There we go. Nice. Now we can do it. Okay, cool, we got him. How'd you feel? Like, it's super cool that they gave new themes to these areas, too. They're, it really does feel like a completely separate dungeon, which is nice. It's not just rehashing. Nico, get your voice off my bed. Eh? Oh, hello. So many spiggins. They're good boys. Whatever they want, give it to them. <laughs> Look at me so happy. <laughs> there we go. I think spiggins are like the most pure representation of cocoa energy. Yeah, so far. Wait, pure? Refined? <laughs> Concentrated? <laughs> Concentrated sounds a bit more accurate. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, fuck that rock. <laughs> Listen, just gentle love taps as we come around the corner. It's okay. That is a lot of boys. That is indeed a lot of boys. I hate killing them. They're my favorite creature in Final Fantasy so far. Like in any game, any Final Fantasy. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
Okay, we get this thing taken care of. It's nice that these tunnels are like, they're still blown open and stuff. I don't know why I expected them to have to be opened again. And like, I can recognize these rooms, but they're slightly different, which is cool. Yeah, that's a big fucking axe he has. Nice. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Eh. Okay, we're fine. I'm stuck back here. I might as well do some damage. Never mind. We're all dead. Pretty good. We might as well do this. Get our let's get some dots on him too. I didn't think he'd live that long, but here we are. He's a boss. What am I talking about? Of course he'd live that long. Here we go. I don't remember what those buttons do. I just know I'm supposed to push them. I need to look at the uh, let me look at the tooltips again and remember what these buttons even do. All right. Do you care about any of this slime puddle? It's a minion. I need that. Uh, I need anything that can be rolled need. Okay, and we greed the rest of it. Okay. Good deal. This guy's just been down here this whole time. Poor fuckers. Wait, did they actually just go back to work? Wow. There we go. I'm going after the rock. It's got a number on it. means it needs to die. <laughs> These miners got the dick. Oh, no. There we go. Perfect. Whoa, get away from me, dude. I think I'm getting hit by that. Yeah. I think I might be getting hit by that one, too. No, we're good. These guys have no HP. Good deal. Oh, yeah, Peloton. Forgot about that. What? I love him. He's so strong. Okay. He's, he's going to roam across back and forth the room like really slow. Um, we have to use that improved blasting device to make bombs to blow him the hell up. But what if we did it? then I guess we have to leave the dungeon because we can't go any further. <laughs> I vote leave. Wait till I meet Ziggy. Oh, what a good boy. Look at him. <laughs> He's just doing his best. <laughs> I love him. I guess I should attack him. Is there any point to it? We're just gonna blow him up, right? Okay. I guess I'll attack. Not happy about it, though. There we go. Hello? Are we, are we killing the sprites? I don't know. We're killing sprites. All ads will die. There we go. Okay, he's down. God, I love being ranged. I don't have to think about positioning very much. It's been very nice. Ow, my, oh, damn. Cat got squished. There I go. I'm about to be squished, too. See, he's a very strong boy. As is, uh, as is, uh, prophesized. There we go.
<laughs> he's not even really attacking. He's just hanging out, dude. Boy, he's got fucking lasers too. Nice. What a good boy. How did that even hit me? Come on now. There we go. His dots are up, but he's got like 7%, you know? Who cares? There we go. Probably better to have dotted him. <laughs> That's fine. It's too late now. I've given up caring. I'm not, I refuse to put too much effort into killing this guy. Oh, well this is a problem. Box parkour? Aw, oh, goodbye, my sweet. Yes, run away. No! Oh! Very sad day. I was hoping he would just run away and live a happy life, but here we are. Huh? Oh, okay, pass. The day I can't greed something is a very sad day. There we go. Fucking nasty frogs. Frogs are so gross. Bleh. Spell these frogs are gross. I, I've known a lot of cute frogs in my time. It's not these guys though. Am I stunned? What is going on here? Oh, now I have a target. Okay. That's probably what happened before. Oh, a treasure. You can't do your song without having a target. Uh, I found that strange. There we go. Oh man, seeing those crits feels good or whatever they are. They've been told there is like two different types of crit mechanics. They're not both crits. Yeah, the the song doing damage is interesting. There we go. Demagogue choker, we need one of those. We are knocking these out. There we go. We're gonna do the heart of the card strat. All you guys have to worry about is ads. I'll deal with all the actual mechanics. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks. Stay off the sand to get in the corner with you. I'm not seeing uh, any ads yet. I feel like whatever the fuck that thing is is probably our. Uh, uh oh. I'm getting whacked. Okay, I'm fine. Hello? Oh, there they are. There we go. Nice. Not bad. Oh, dots are gone. Wow, already. Fuck off, dude. 
That is so fast. You have to actually just jump out of it. Or take it. I'm not jumping, though. I forgot what button that is. Is it this one? Okay. We'll be prepared for that next time. I probably won't end up doing it anyway, but we'll try. Whew! You fucking spooked me. Don't do that. <laughs> there we go. I got this boy. There we go. The problem with jumping back is I'll end up in the sand and probably get my ass eaten by a worm. Hello? Don't do anything to me. Oh, hello? Whoa. There we go. Nice! That was easy. So we just cheese that boss. Yes. Very good. <laughs> All right, perfect. Let me uh, scoop this loot. There we go. Nice. All right, good deal. Ow. Good deal. Yanking on my headphones. Hey, Cat, right. which dungeon did you want? Uh, just Wanderer's Palace is it. Okay. I don't remember where it unlocks, though. Um, if you have Trauma Queen in your quest log, go do that. I do. And please read it. I see it right there. I am on the way. Oh. There we go. This is one of the two please weed. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I've wondered when we were going to hit this dungeon. I think I passed by it at one point. They were like, when you're 50. Okay. We're here. I'm assuming this is where it is. I don't see shit. Oh, there we go. What's a child doing alone out here? Lava fell should be supervised. <clears throat> You're one of Aline's, aren't you? <laughs> that one's got a ghost in her attic, you know. Keep sending other ventures to that damn place she calls a palace thinking you're going to bring your feller back. It was seven of us that day. One of them are feller. My friend was another. Soon as we walked in, a Tonberry attacked. It was dark and we couldn't get purchase on the floor. It was covered in lake slime, then in blood. What's more there to say? Only Aline and I made it out by the grace of the Twelve. Everyone else is dead. You see, the Lalafell is allowed to survive because you can't kill Lalafell. Think I'd leave him behind. Leave my brother by another blood. If I hadn't seen what that Tonberry left, I saw no treasure there, only death. I've said my piece. You still want to see for yourself that's your business. I'll ferry you there for my adventuring days are over and I'm a boatman of this lake. She thinks they all live. You see, five of them hiding on the Tonberry somewhere in the palace. She tried to flee to the infirmary, told folk about her friends needing rescue. Then she got sly. Ah, poor lost Aline. Give me this. I'm gonna get enough elegant pieces to build my own goddamn moon. There we go. Bit by bit, dude. There we go. Right, the Wanderer's Palace. It's open. Oh. The fastest ready check in the West. See, Tonberry's gonna be cute. I fucking love Tonberries. They used to be my favorite creature. Because they're just adorable. Again, cocoa energy. But no, it's the Spriggans now. <sighs> By and far. Tonberries are good boys. <laughs> He's just running them in circles, man. Tonberry kiting. I am prepared. Well, probably not, but I'm uh, as ready as I'm going to be. 
Follow into Catboy. I have a feeling we're killing the treasure hunters too here. Oh. Oh. Why did I spend both those charges? God damn it, dude. Hey, Miko. Yes, baby. Come, come look behind us. <gasps> look at him. Get him, Tonberry. Fucking get him. Yes. Oh, shit. It actually hit me. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect did, did to- Did you get doinked? I did get doinked. He fucking doinked me. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect it to happen. I thought it was just like an animation where he's just going to go through and hit the other guy. I didn't think it would be actually hit an intervening target. Nice. You should pet him? Oh, man, I should have pet him. He pet me with his fucking knife. Typical Coco strats. You go to pet him and he just bites the shit out of your hand. It's more of a cat than a goat, honestly. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? Stab me? Man who gets stabbed. That's fine. I expect it at this point. He is. Do it, doink me, daddy. Oh my god. No, give me the give me the pug. There we go. I hope we get to fight the big Tom Barry. Yeah, you guys go do that. I want the treasure. Ooh. <laughs> I also need them. Hey, I'm here to cause problems, y'all. If nothing, I'm just doing my job. There we go. Oh, so many targets for the AoE. I expect it. There we go. <laughs> my goob! What a good boy. Goobs are number, number, god, they're so good. I don't know, Goob, Goobs might actually be number two. Tonberry might have been demoted to number three. Hello, please use the song, thanks. There we go. It's good to be a ranger. The only one not taking damage. Oh, am I do not dotting him? Hello? Completely forgot the dots exist. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy playing any casters. I just... I don't know. The thought of having to just fucking stand there waiting on cast timers is not fun. I, I, played, I played Scholar for my entire first romp through the game. I, I enjoyed it because I like healing, but I had not played summoner any. Doesn't have cast timers. Oh shit! I might roll summoner then. I'm halfway there. There we go. Taunt baby. Once again, spinning all my number three charges. I even saying it. If I can do it again, I have a problem. There we go. Red mage is a lot of fun. Okay, I believe you. I played Scholar. Scholar had infinite cast times. And you couldn't move. That's my problem is you can't move uh, between casts. You just have to fucking stand there. Well, you can move between casts. It's the only time you can move. You have to worry about, like, actively timing your movement to the ability to use your skills. And if you're moving, you can't do anything, you know? I don't know. It just seems like an inherently flawed DPS 
system. There we go. The tiny bit of summoner I played up to like 30 or so, or 35 or however, however far I got, I don't know how I got my summoner. Let me look. Yeah, summoner got to 31. I enjoyed the little bit that I had there. Yeah, I'm sure you get into a rhythm, but there's still a mechanical inherent disability there. That doesn't exist for Bard and I'm sure Dancer. He's down here beating ass again. What a good boy. This area feels very Final Fantasy XII. <gasps> Sewers of Rabinaster. There we go. Nice. We're doing it. I'm really late on transitioning to single target there. It, like every time, there's one or two casts that end up going off for still AOE there. Oh, hello. Oh. He's so fast. Love him. It's a shame we're gonna have to he kill him. To doink. I'm not gonna stop him. Bloodthirsty doinking. He's looking. He's not very smart, but he is determined. So the tank and the healer do as much damage as our two DPSs combined, just about. That's cool. But also a little worrying <laughs> if our only job is to do damage. There we go. Oh, there's the big boy again. He blends in so well. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing the, oh, hello. I'm thinking about doing the relic. Not actually doing it, but like being spoon fed the relic. Not working for it, of course. Because I can't stand crafting. I did that. I did not find it fun. It was a task to be completed. But the relic would be a good weapon. That's, I'll probably go without it. Precious boy. Look at his little tail. There we go. I just thought the Tonberries were like turtle. Turtle guys? They look like turtles. And they got like fish tails. Like the Tonberry lawyer, lore? Lawyer? Tonberry lawyer? He'll doink you for sure. Tonberry lore is uh, super fucking dark, but the Tonberries? Oh. <laughs> Precious. Oh. Ew. Do you have any. Uh, plans to play through Scholar at all? I mean, it's my healer of choice. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm, I think I might just stick to the couple classes I have. I just don't feel like leveling multiple classes, you know? Well, the reason I ask is because there's Tonberry lore tied to it, and I don't want to tell you outright if you're going to do it. So if you want to know, I can tell you. Otherwise, I'll just sit quietly and wiggle. <laughs> I might end up doing Scholar, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any plans, you know? You! 
Dude, he's so nasty. If I poison him, he's probably just gonna fucking heal him. He's so gross. Oh, yes. This is the part that really reminds me of 12. Yeah. The big slime in the sewer. He casts two fire spells and the boss is dead. Hit the five, bitch. Hit the five, please. Oh, the white moose, yes. Some of the hunts were such pain. He cast two fire skulls and is now dead. Yep. <laughs> oh, he's so nasty. Okay, greed. Greed. There we go, we've done it. We've stolen plenty of loot today. God, it cannot. St My leg is going like a fucking jet engine right now. I mean, you can see the mouse like this one is doing. Stop! A million miles an hour. I can't fucking stop it, dude. <sighs> oh no, he coming. Hello? Oh. Here we go. Just have to take my hand off the fucking mouse. Here we go. Here we go. There's no need for anybody to leave what they're doing. Um, if you want to do something else, do something else. There's plenty of time for us to get all the stuff done that we want to do. Right now, it's not a requirement, it's an invitation. <sighs> there we go. So the big boy kind of represents a timer, right? Yes, if he catches up to us, he's just going to blank us to death. It's not the worst fate. First time I ever ran this dungeon, like I didn't realize that he'd be chasing us. I like panic ran down <laughs> the wrong dungeon, the wrong hallway. Yes, get cat. <laughs> the fucking doinks. There we go. It's got like a foam knife. It needs to do ten thousand damage. Like, it needs to be OHKO. Oh. The biggest boy. Despite everything we have taught you to do, do not attack the ants on this boss. Oh. He is king. There we go. Precious, I hate to kill him. Oh, he's dying quick. He's only 10% down, oh no. There is a little bit of initial burst though, I don't know. If we're gonna keep up this pace. Yeah, what if we did slap the ads? Are you trying to murder me? No, I'm just, uh, you know, questions. For every Tonbari that dies next to him, he gets a buff. Brilliant. He so, gets a stacking buff that he uses on another attack that does more damage the more adds that died. So we can make like him revenge. even bigger. Yes. Oh, what a good boy. Look at his little feet. If Murgo were here as the other DPS, there would be no living Tonberry in the room. 
No, Murder was like, kill that tank. Fuck them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll take a dagger and literally never use it. Much harder boss when solo. Yeah, I can imagine. I imagine most everything would be harder solo. Just not having three other people to do stuff, <laughs> including damage. All right. Well, that was good. Thank you for Tonberry's cap. Oh, I tried to walk off yes, the ledge. Yes, they're very, very cute. Didn't let me do it. Okay, we're actually clearing out my quest log. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've got so much shit in here. I don't know what any of it means. Okay. Um, next one, you'll actually have to pick up another quest. It's out in Ulga. There will be a Lalafell outside of the Adventurer's Guild over by the Chocobos. We'll see when we get there. <laughs> I'm looking for a Lalafell in Ulga. And please read this one. Okay. All right, perfect. By the Chocobos. Okay, so that's over here. It's a lava fell. Let's see. Can't. Meow. There we go. <laughs> Listen, I saw. I saw a Chocobo. I went and looked for it. Chocobo keep. Ah, it's this guy, Corpse Groom. Okay. That's a cat. Nice Bart, nice fucking hat, dude. I'm so jealous. You even you have ear cups! They gave you ear cups, so they can't cut ear holes for Oh, I'm angry. This guy's shady as fuck. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, <-ha. laughs> Every time I see the bell bottoms, I just think Dancing Queen. Huh? Well, you're Miko, the famous adventurer. Thank the gods for bringing you here. What is it, child? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Payo Rayo, one of the many faceless adventurers struggling to make their way in Eorzea. Forgive me if I sound bitter. I don't begrudge you your renown. Your superiority as an adventurer was obvious to me long before you became a household name. Our paths crossed near Sestashi, you see. Hard to believe we moved in similar circles back then. Speaking of which, do you perchance remember having met a conjurer named Edda around that time? We used to adventure together, she and I and two others. Our little group didn't last very long, though. Things fell to pieces when Ever, our leader, and Edda's fiance met his end at the Tamtara Decroft. I remember this boy. Fucking ear cups. Harsh words were exchanged, and we all went our separate ways. Since then, I've been this, getting. This is why I wanted you to read this one. <laughs> He's a good boy. Since then, I've been getting by on my own. Truth be told. I hadn't planned on seeing any of my former comrades again, but then this letter arrived from Etta containing an invitation to her wedding. The fuck? Didn't she get beheaded or some shit? No, her fiance got beheaded. Oh, that's right. Okay. Huh. Now, I know what you're thinking. I should be happy for her. And I was, until I noticed the name of her groom-to-be. It was none other than a Vare. What's more is the venue for the ceremony is to be the Tantara Deepcroft, in the very place the poor fellow died. Something isn't right, I tell you. She's probably going to join him in death. Now, in the letter, Edda wrote a... Oh, God. Leavine. Leavine. Li Li Leavine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. Leavin. 
Edda wrote that Lee event. Whatever he says is canonically accurate. <clears throat> That's the fourth member of our group. Had already agreed to attend. They chanced to meet each other recently from what I could gather. Not knowing what to make it of all, I, I thought it wise to consult Lee event about the whole strange affair before replying. But last I heard, she joined the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Oh, fuck. And I didn't have the first idea how to go about tracking her down. Not until the greatest scion of them all appeared, that is. Now, could you tell me where I might find her? I don't even know where she is. I didn't realize that's who we had hired. In the lich yard in the church of Saint Adama Landama. I'm sorry, I don't... Slain an imperial raid, you say? By the twelve, I had no idea. When did this happen? Well, the black wolf still lived? Then how can it be that Lyavan met Edda recently? Gods, I don't know what to believe. They're zombies, dude. Oh, this is interesting. If it isn't too much to ask, I'd be most grateful if you'd show me Leaven's grave. We didn't always see eye to eye, but she had a good heart, and if she's truly... Well, I need to pay my respects. Please, meet me at the lichyard. Oh, boy. Look at a little chocobo guy back there. Nice. There we go. Well, it's time. Okay, I need to actually go there. Hold on. Um, corpse room. Map. Where am I going? Can't drive on. Yes. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'll pay the guild to go there myself. Fuck you, cat. Oh, the good boy. Perhaps the goodest boy. Okay. Well, her gravestone's fucked up. Who did this? Her when she got out, probably. The tombstone has been knocked over and the earth before it disturbed. Oh, boy. So this is where poor Leovin now lies. Well, dead. What, what's the meaning of this? Not only is her grave defiled, her body's gone. Who could have done this? No, no. Could it have been Edda? The more I think about it, the more it makes... Uh, well, I was going to say sense, but... Gods. I will try to explain. To the rest of us, our little party of four was but a means to riches and glory. Such things as adventurers seek. Uh, but Edda... It was her life. She blamed herself for Avira's death. And to our shame, we agreed with her. But we knew full well we were all to blame. And then we left her where she stood with her fiancé's head for company. Yeah, how could we have been so heartless? Small wonder if the poor girl has been driven from her wits. But what is done is done. All we can do is admit our mistakes and make amends as best we can. Avira's gone and so is Livian. But Edda refuses to accept it. She won't let go of the past. I know not what she means to do in Temtara, but I can't let... But, but it can lead to no good end. I will attend this this wedding and try to restore her to her senses. Well, that's not going to happen. It's going to go very badly. He's probably going to end up dead, too. <laughs> dead. He's a Lollofell. He can't die. I would be much reassured if you could accompany me. As Avira once did, so too does Edda look up to you. She may not listen to me, but she may yet heed the words of someone she admires. And failing that... No. No, it doesn't bear thinking about. If we hurry, we need, need not come to that. Play me me at the Tamdara Deepcroft. Together we'll meet an end to whatever madness Edda is planning. Okay, little man. He's gone deep into this roleplay. Holy shit, he's committed to this role. What a good boy. What a precious, high-spirited lot of... Oh my god. I'm going to end up in this fucking grave one day. <laughs> Jesus. They're so cute. No, they're the opposite of cute. They're fucking horrible. There we go. <laughs> fucking nasty ass. Owl bears. Disgusting. They're, they're rat owls is what they are. Owl rats. What? 
<laughs> Fucking gross. They're like they're bottom they're bottom tier. They're like one notch above the nasty ass tongue frogs. And even then, oof, it's close. Am I, even, am I even remotely near? No. The fuck? It's down here, isn't it? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, got it. Nice. A Lala fell in Thaumaturge. Just so happens a fellow like that went into the deep croft not a minute ago. There was a young lady with him, dressed head to toe in white. The last was all smiles and giggles like a maiden on her wedding day, but your friend looks stiff as a board. Can't say I blame him, though. Crips do strange things to the best of us. You mean to head inside as well, do you? Well, don't... What? We'll take care you don't wake the dead, huh? Oh, that's the idea. The deep croft is hard and accessible. There we go. Scattered throughout this dungeon on the floor, there's going to be a couple of notes. Please take the time to actually stop and read them. Okay, Because they add flavor. MSG notes. All right, we'll do it. Jesus Christ, what? One leg is completely asleep. The other one? Hyper as shit. You know that, like, you have two wolves inside you? I have two fucking legs, and they're never doing the same thing. Ew. Nasty ass fly. You have two legs inside you? <laughs> Not yet. Not that talented, damn. Ask is, though. Listen, it takes skill. <laughs> Can confirm, have seen it. Jesus. <laughs> Yiz's role has been changed from tank to sock. <laughs> God, what a thought. That's so fucking <laughs> brutal, dude. I'm sure there's someone out there who's just been like, whoa, now that's a concept. That's wow. New fetish discovered. Oh, hello. Safety circle note. <clears throat> Tornfolio. I finally mustered... Oh. I finally mustered the courage to speak with your hero, my love. He goes as kind and wise as he is brave and strong. He has listened attentively as I told him all about you, about us. Though he is a man of few words, or perhaps because he is, everything is said to seem to inspire me. Why, his gaze alone instills me with a confidence I never knew I had. Truly, I feel better prepared to face the future for having met him. How right you were, my love. So depending on who wrote this, there's some fuckery afoot. A, a little bit of fuckery, you could say, yes. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Come here. There we go. I imagine we're getting yet more boys. Nope, just these guys. Okay. Time to murder, then. There's a lot of more boys coming up, so we'll do this. Hmm. Whatever's down there is looking uh, pretty interesting. I can't feel anything halfway down my fucking vine. I can't move. Hold on. Nope, don't do that. Don't run into the AoE. There we go. Just trying to stay out of the... Oh, he, this guy probably can't even take damage until his two boys are dead. Got it. Yeah, there it is. That's cool. Oh, there's no... You guys got that hand. You don't need me. Cat is very strong. Scarcely a week has passed since we returned to the village. Already I cannot help but thinking it was a mistake. There was a time when this place seemed just large enough. But having seen the wider world, it all feels so insufferably confined that I often find myself struggling for breath. I know that is the same for you, my love. 
The only time I feel truly alive is when I am adventuring with you. We are as caged birds in this backwater. So long as we remain here, we will never spread our wings and soar. So let us take to the road and create a lifetime of wonderful memories together. So this sounds like it's the bride talking to the head of her dead husband and bringing it back here, maybe for him to be revived or for her to become zombified and join him in death. There we go. Oh, my leggy. Holy shit. Oh, that's going to be pins and needles here in a minute. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my bones. Oh, this is going to be... Un oh, ow. So there goes all the blood. That's a feeling. No, attack the thing right in the fucking center of the screen, please. There we go. Kill the demon pawns first. Oh. Yep, she's waking up. Oh, Jesus. There we go. You'd really think that you'd be used to having all your blood elsewhere. Oh, jeez. Listen, you guys tonight. <laughs> Here we go. Ow! It's fair game. That's fair. All right, you guys got the sandal. I'm gonna go read. Okay. I could not have hoped for a more romantic first visit to Mordona. The crystals that pierced the landscape glowed in all their majesty as if to celebrate our future together. And as we lazed by Silver Tear Lake, watching the waves laughing at the shore, the sun took its leave behind the horizon, that we might enjoy a moment of intimacy. Ow! Fuck my leg! Oh, Jesus! I want us to be together forever. You first said these words to me years ago, and you said them to me again tonight. I'm so happy to be with you. I wonder if this is like... The zombie body of the husband coming back and watching the, the wife, you know? Who wrote the note? That's the mystery here. What? Give. Oh, Jesus. Every time I have to pass on loot, I lose a little bit of part of my soul. Stack up real tight. Do not touch the ads. Okay. Hey, Rapic. Good to see you, brother. Oh, shit. It's just me standing in the middle of fucking nowhere. Have 100% focus here. No, don't attack best man. Hold on. Am I do what do- No! <laughs> fucking oops. Ow. Did I hit AoE or something? What the fuck happened there? I accidentally hit tab trying to smack one. I clicked the top of the list thinking it was her. There we go. Nah, it's... She's super dead. Also, yeah. if you didn't notice, that was Leavine. Yeah. Yeah. So she's fucking dead. I thought she was supposed to be dressed in white, though. She went dressed in white there. defiled coffin. Is the Lalafell coming in to marry anybody? Where is that little fucker, by the way? I swear to God, if he's in there fucking the dead body, I'm gonna be so angry. Oh, I can greed this. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, safety circle. <clears throat> you have been looking deathly pale of late. The scorching heat of Thanalan does not agree with you. You were never fond of hot climbs, and it was a mistake to come here. Let us make for Curthus, where the bracing air will put roses in your cheeks. Okay. Definitely flavor, but and I, I have more questions than answers at this point. Oh, boy. Do I just open this? Yeah, stick your face in it. Hello? Oh, I can't move. My bones! Dentalium. He's not going to live long enough for any of this to matter. What am I doing? 
Okay. So who was who was the lady in white if not Okay, I don't know. I don't know if it's just like an oversight or if that's actually part of the lore. Oh no, more fucking coffins, okay. There we go. Alright, you guys got this handled. I'm gonna go read. I know, I know, it is not easy being without a body. I promise to find one for you, but you must have patience. Is she gonna put him in the Lalafell? Is she gonna do like a soul swap thing? You are my husband to be, and there is nothing I would not do for you, so please have faith in me. Give me time, my love, and I shall make you whole again as you make me. I think that's what she's doing. I'm doing it. Oh yeah. Okay, so she's not the not the bride. Fuck you, Dantalian. Interesting that she would be attacking us. Interesting. Let's just see where this goes. See, there's a discarded body, and what a hunk. If I was going to do a soul swap, I'd put my husband in there. There we go. Big arms, broad shoulders, what's not to love? That's so sad when you hit the AoE on just one thing. <laughs> Alright, you got this. Okay. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, my love, but we cannot afford to compromise. Not where your new body is concerned. Ordinary adventurers die often enough, leaving their ordinary corpses. But if you were to be like him, we cannot settle for anything less than extraordinary. Oh no. She wants my body. But his strong body requires an equally strong soul, as I recently discovered. Oh shit. Now you are probably worried that strong souls are rare, and so they are. But never fear, for we can create one ourselves. All we need is a plentiful supply of the weaker kind, and they are common indeed. Be patient just a little longer, my love, and all will be as you desire. Oh boy. So she's trying to body swap with me, but she's got to power up her husband. And killing a bunch of adventurers in the process to stack up a strong enough soul that she can uh, get her husband back into a body and bind him with that stronger soul. Or empower her husband, his soul. It's interesting. It's quite the heist, trying to steal my body out from under me. There we go. There we go. Unless we're gonna, we're gonna walk down this hall, I swear to God, we're gonna find fucking Minfelia back here tied up. There we go. I keep almost calling them dandelions as well. Oh no, the good boy. He's not targetable, huh? Not yet. There will be portals around this room. Touch the balls that come out of them. Okie dokie. Can't move my body? Oh, we protect him. I need to zoom out for this shit. Can't look at everything at once, that's the problem. Oh yeah, let me dot him. Spare body, okay. Here we go, let me go grab this. All right, there we go. It seems they all come at the same time, which is good. There we go. I'll grab this guy closest to it. There we go. I sacrifice my bones for the good boy. Let's put the dots back on him. Oops, that one twice. 
Like the number of times I've done like the same dot twice on accident or I've done the wrong one. That's a big boy. There we go. Oh, okay, we're good. Holy shit, that took half his HP. Okay, goodbye, Pale Rail. What a good boy. He's alive too, which was what matters. See, the Lalafell cannot die, I'm telling you over and over again. They're not allowed to die. And if we ever see one dying, they're just playing. And as soon as they get off screen, they dust themselves off and go get a new roll. I'm telling you, it's exactly how it works. Oh. With an eye endless supply of bodies here, I will make you well again, my love. Then we shall be wed as man and wife and forever be joined as the gods intended. Of course, it is only fitting that a proper ceremony be held with guests and attendants. I will send out invitations to all our friends. They will be so happy for us. I have no doubt that they will jump at the chance to part with their souls. Yeah. Fucking gross. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. All right. Off we go. I see Murgo die. I've never seen Murgo die. Actually, that's not true. Murgo does die all the time, but he's just playing possum. You're not actually dead. In fact, I've never seen you dead at the end of the fight. You just like lay down. And you're like, oh, I'm dead, LARPing. And then a white mage casts a uh, res on you. It has no effect, but you know it's been cast and then you're allowed to get up again. Lala Fels are just LARPing, dude. 100%, all of you. Except that uh, there isn't a one time. He's just committed to the, who oh, no, my bones. There we go. Do you see the names of these things? Yeah. She's been fucking Frankenstein in this place up this whole time. There we go. If you actually look at the flyblown failures, they're actually using the same model as Avir had outside of Sastasha. Interesting. I'll have to we'll have to look at one. I'm gonna get a good look at one. Nice. Three pawns. Should I be worried about these glowing boys? <laughs> That's convincing. Any safety circles? Oh, there's one. Let me see. I'm very slow. Just trying to get a good look at these boys. I can't quite tell. Ew. I'm so used to Yiz running healer. I see Yiz getting attacked by things. And I'm like, I gotta get him. Protect the healer. There we go. We've done it. I see the bride now. There we go. That's what you wear to your wedding? I mean, we know she's a fucking psycho, but I expected her to have some fashion sense. Oh, and that's his head. Damn, dude, she's lost it. She's completely fucking lost it. Here we go. Uh, don't go into the center of the room because there's that damage puddle. Um, there will be portals that come around the room that pop up and they'll spawn ads. Please kill those. Don't stand in the AoE. Please. Okie dokie. 
There we go. Okay. Do this. Why did I jump? Ooh! That's a lot of fucking AoE. Oh, now I do. Groom to be, Jesus. I, what kind of fucking harem shit is this? I like the candles, though. It's my favorite part of this fight so far. There we go. Should probably not be on top of you. Oh yeah, dots. All right, there we go. Hey, not me for once. Very nice. can't actually read Aorzeon writing the big letters around the center of the runes uh, spell out of fear. Huh. She really went the full nine yards, honestly. You can't say she wasn't committed. I'm a big fan of the, uh, I saw that shit coming. I'm a big fan of characters that go mad for love or, uh, self-sacrificing for love and shit the like that. The entire circle on the floor, like all the writing says if you're even small. Just over, wow. over again. I did a level, nice. It's just a fear over and over and over. <laughs> And she's had to watch him die again. I mean, she's a monster. I mean, there's it's not like uh, she's redeemable at this point, right? But what a fucking way to go. There we go. Nice, GG. What an interesting dungeon, because I know you guys were pointing out that little group of adventures a couple times throughout the early MSQ, and I was like, yeah, that's cute. Moving on. <laughs> I can see now why you were pushing for it. The thing is, a lot of the side stuff, too, if you pay attention to it, it actually keeps popping up. Yeah. Oh. I win by default. Then didn't have to roll on it. That's not the end? Oh, boy. Well, I mean, because the other guy is still alive. He got to the bottom of it, though. And he lived. Oh, Peo Reo. There you are. Come here. Oh, boy. It's finally over. Would that it could have been different, but what choice did we have? This be my last act as an adventurer. I've done quite enough harm as it is. I mean to go home and live out my days and huh? Holy shit. Oh no. She's not done, dude. Oh, dude, he's going to be haunted for the rest of his life. He's probably going insane next. <laughs> yeah, that was spooky. That was well done. It's the first time we've seen any kind of, like, uh, snap editing like that. Oh, nice mount, dude. He 
just casually riding her fucking husband around. Nice. God, how nasty. I love my disembodied Avir head. Better than this owl fuck. There we go. We've done it. That's pretty good. Let's see. So, what would be next? Uh, whatever else you have in your quest log. Pick one and we shall go. Um... Yeah, so it has a hell to open. You could do Bukake Manor again. Blood for Stone is the Dragon Dick Dungeon. Stone Vigil, I think I need to do again for um, something. There's something I need to do. Oh, no, no, that was, a, that was another dungeon. We could do Karn again. I like Karn. Um, fucking Rambros. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I can't pick. Dude, Tim in. He's here. Okay. I don't know. I honestly think I'm good for the night. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm good. That's fine. Yeah. I think I'm satisfied there. My head's a little sour today. Um, okay. Oh. Okay. Good, Brainette. Thanks for joining me. We'll have plenty more to do in the future. And this is stuff like the the hard dungeons is stuff that we can do, you know, even on MSQ nights, because we'll probably still have four people around, three people around. So I feel like that's uh, not something we have to all get done today. Okay. Oh, well, let me just sit down then. Just right here. Because this isn't a really spooky place to sit. Yeah, to do. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Raid Leader Catboy. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, so the I don't know. Catboy. I don't know what we're doing. Next to you. Meow meow meow. Meow meow meow. I got so many fucking cats in my party right now. Just coming to realize that. To everywhere. Okay. So, let me see. Uh, for those of you who need people seeing the next episode, it should probably be MSQ on Tuesday since there's maintenance tomorrow. And then MSQ on Thursday, depending on how far we get, and then raid night again, so we'll just continue from where we left off. <clears throat> Hopefully, uh, Snake will be back then. I think we'll have I think we'll have a full eight next Saturday and Sunday. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get some of this other stuff done. Uh, that'll be nice. If not, that's okay. There will be other weekends for us to do it. All right. Oh. I'm going to go get some other recording done. Um, go take a walk. Maybe go drive for a bit. Reset my brain. Uh, and then uh, probably do some more recording. See if I can actually... Fuck off with your dire might, you level 10 fucking noob. Bitch. Uh, anyway. I'm going to go try and see if I can finish Far Cry tonight. Because I'm really close. I think I'm close. I don't know. Every time I think I'm close to the end of the game, it's just kind of like, Oh, here's a new chapter. <laughs> Anyway, I had a good time tonight, and uh, we'll be back. I'm pretty sure... I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Check out on the Discord, um, because I'll let you guys know what the plan is tomorrow since we have maintenance. Go unlock it? Unlock what? Oh, yeah, you're talking about Murgo. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, since we have maintenance, so we can't do Final Fantasy, of course. And then on Tuesday, we'll be back for... Um, Tuesday, we'll be back for MSQ. Thursday, MSQ, then right night. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. All right, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.